so big in fact that I'm almost guaranteed that you're going to want to share this. And this is going to be one of the number one tools, if not the number one tool that you use on a daily basis in Destiny moving forward. And that is super exciting for me. But more importantly, this is for you. But please feel free to share, like, hit the bell notifications as more improvements are going to continue to come out. I'm going to have timestamps and chapter notifications as well in this so that you can skip if you need to. But I would love it again if you'd let it play out and or anything you can do to help would be greatly appreciated. And I'll tell you more why about in the end, but without wasting time, because I know some of you don't care about that part. Let's jump right into the tool. What is Destiny Tools Vault Analyzer? Well, you'll see it's already changed a little bit, and that's because we have a couple of things here. However, destinytools.cloud is the website that you want to go to, destinytools.cloud. This is fully mobile friendly. In fact, you will see that I've prioritized the mobile layout. You can now end session, uh, but let's jump in. You can donate. There is a donate page. It is active. It tells you why you might want to donate, and you can buy a cup of coffee here or donate by PayPal. You can join our Discord. Please do. Help the community use the tool better as well. Recommend feedback on Discord um, as well. That's probably the main avenue that I might use to and even jump into game with you guys um, or share with your friends on a mobile phone real quick and that'll pop up for you as well and let you share the site directly. But go ahead and share this video while you're at it because people want to know how to use it. But let's go ahead and um, go home. Everybody can end that session now again like they wanted to be able to do manually and you can jump from cell phone to regular phone. Um, or to a uh, desktop, I should say. But more importantly, as we get into the tool, you'll notice it looks familiar. However, there is one thing that everybody wanted. This is the number one feature here. So you can actually search for something that you want. So everybody commented about the de destabilizing rounds refit. Greatly appreciate about that. I now understand because I have Choir of One finally, although I still have not ordered <laughs> Edge of Fate. Um, I, again, work part-time jobs and uh, was laid off a few years ago, so not to go into that too much. More on that later if you want to hear about it. But most importantly, you see you can search for your perks up front, which is super cool. However, that overrides regular logic, so don't do that before you see all these cool improvements that I've made. In fact, just so that you get an idea, you can pause the screen right now. Go ahead and pause it if you want to read through the list or read the description down below to see all these cool perks and changes and everything that has gone on. There's a ton in the background, tons of cool analytics and everything. It's a completely different tool, and honestly, in some ways. Um, you can keep your masterwork items, but let's go ahead and do the quick analyze. So there's two buttons there. You see quick analyze as well as deep analyze. And that's because quick analyze basically is what you used to know, but it's way improved with the logic. Um, there is one major change there that I don't, I won't go through yet, but again, here, this is also a search box that you can use. So if you want to type in destabilizing rounds, you could start to type in that. If you wanted to type in, let's say that Cartesian, you can type that in and you'll see it's super responsive. What's cool about it is it picks up again, any letters that you start typing. So it'll filter that out, um, based on your know, trait or weapon type right now. I don't have anything further than that. So has to be a, a barrel perk trait, that kind of thing, or a weapon type. And you can see those weapons right away. Right away. Your uh, hunter prepared and everything for inventory has also been simplified. So hopefully that is green or red and tells you whether you have those slots in the right places. So that's quick analyze and you'll notice immediately some major changes. In fact, I'm just going to point it out on the abyssal edge here. The hatchling perk down here is a strand perk. That's a great perk to your point for a lot of you who said, why would I want to throw away or, you know, some chill clip or, you know, not that chill clip was not prioritized before, but not to the weight that it should have been. So now everything is redone based on weapon archetype, uh, including barrels and magazines are even redone based on weapon archetype. So um, it, it gets very granular. I'm sure that somebody is going to tell me I missed something or they don't like that specific, you know, perk in a slot. Um, I did do a lot of research on what the meta was out there right now as well. So hopefully that will help all of you. But please comment down below if there's like, if everybody says, hey, this has really got to change for shotguns. I don't know why that was chosen or why your research showed you that or, or you might like it, then cool. Comment down below. Um, again, you can mark for preparing, uh, but let's jump right into the next chapter of deep analyze because again, I want to make this as quick as possible. So remember to refresh your screen because that's going to let you start over. And I'm going to do both focus again. I just feel like it. But you know what I want to do, actually? 
I want to focus only on a specific weapon type. And you'll want to do this when you deep analyze, unless you have some time on your hands right now. I am going to improve time. In fact, I've had success with getting this three times faster moving forward. However, as you can see right now, it's going to go through 36 different weapons to analyze the duplicates, and it's going to look at each one one by one. I had to do it this way because Destiny's API actually doesn't allow for you to pull all that data up front. It only pulls the surface level, which is those first rolled traits. Um, so it doesn't really factor it in quite as heavily. So this is the better way to do it if you really, really want to get deep into your weapons and make sure that you're choosing each of the right ones. Um, but when you're doing the daily roll, this isn't that big of a deal at the end of the day. Plus, again, with your support, this is going to keep getting better as well. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to get it to move two or three times faster at a minimum. Um, so cue the music for the rest of this. Dun, 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 we're complete. So now we have the deep analysis done. Let's jump into what it looks like. Again, you can search for the weapon specific that you're looking for or the, the roles that you're looking for if you'd like. Um, those perk combinations, but you will notice as we scroll down here, let's just keep going. I want to show you some that I hadn't shown you already, but that I already know that I've been grinding lately. So again, I could have searched for that. However, this is also um, not that bad scrolling through with your finger on a phone. So you'll see that second and third uh, columns are factored. It is telling you what you have slotted, but it also looks at all of the columns to recommend which one you should keep. Obviously, with Overflow, Frenzy, Appended Mag, and Chambered Compensator on an auto rifle already, that's a pretty strong roll. So it ends up being my best PvE PvP roll. Um, not that Incandescent and Demolitionist isn't good, so maybe I want to keep that uh, as well. But um, it really just depends on your individual preference. So uh, but you can go ahead and roll through these now and see a why all the weights were done. To give you an idea for No Survivors, Extended Barrel, um, appended mag actually ended up uh, making it. This is the best roll because of the combination of perks. But you'll notice over here, Rewound Wound's extended mag is huge too. And that's because submachine guns take into account now exactly what is happening with the um, specifics behind the, um, sorry, it takes into account now what is happening with the specifics of the weapon archetype. So submachine guns typically run out of ammo very fast and so it goes through individual weapons and includes even, believe it or not, like range, actual range and whether or not you would want the, the next barrel type on that and those kind of things. So it's pretty cool uh, how it factors things in. I did a lot of work in Googling and different analytics and looking at different discords, different people's things. So um, hopefully you all find this to be amazing and much better and you really enjoy this tool. But again, remember you could just take something like this if you wanted to and find that those things go through real quick, the things you want to delete. Say I want to delete this retraced path. You can either keep scrolling, get to the end of your list or go up to the top real quick and come down to prepare your items. You could select all if you get to that point where you're trusting everything. Now we're preparing it and we're getting ready, right? So um, I'm going to go back to the view so that you can see more of the screen here real quick. And uh, this should be prepared any second, and once that is prepared, we'll flip over to show you exactly how that looks in the vault itself, and how you can delete it, and why this is going to save you so much time moving forward, because you don't have to sit there and go through one by one, and don't do um, those uh, videos on deleting my whole vault for, you know, 10 hours. Although, please tag your favorite streamer. I'd love to see if they think this is something they would do, even if it did take away their ability to, quote unquote, um, stream as well. So, so again, it prepared. I said, got it. Cool. Perfect. Thank you for preparing. So let's jump back in. Okay. And this is where we're at now in Destiny. Uh, yes, I love the comment about the Warlock main. Um, I like, I don't mind people, you know, messing with me or any of those things. Uh, again, I'm a pretty normal human being. Um, but come over here as soon as you go into your vault, just click sort. Now look, so you'll see I already sorted these because that was my last example on the video I couldn't uh, release because it wasn't a good go through. So retrace path is ready to go. I can just crush it and, uh, you know, boom, I, I trust it. It's all good. We're good. And somebody's going to tell me that was the wrong one to delete, but that's life. So hopefully this has been helpful. Um, now a little bit more about potentially why you might want to continue to support and or follow notification bells, all the things. Um, I really want this tool to be useful. I want it to be helpful for you 
And that's because I found this to be one of the most frustrating parts of playing Destiny. I want to spend more time playing. Um, I went clanless because my clan's not even on, um, really, for the most part. So I'm going to be joining a new clan soon. Feel free to comment down below. Uh, jump on, play with me anytime in, in Discord. You can you get groups going there too. Use chat rooms, all the things once you're part of the Discord. If you need to use a chat room, you don't have a Discord server of your own. I'm happy to offer that to you. So again, thank you so much for taking the time to look through this with me and really you know understand the tool a little bit better. I think the presentation, I hope, and the layout is way better than what you've seen from any other tool. And what it does to get you prepared is is really helpful. So. Um, I will be working on armor that has not gotten fixed yet. However, Ergo Sum, I didn't cover in this one. I realize that has actually been covered. A lot of those you might end up wanting to keep because it is tricky knowing which one you want to delete, but um, it does factor in things. So I actually have like six across my vault right now that um, I tested just to make sure it would factor and it recommended I keep the Arv Wake type of uh, the Arc Wake, <laughs> Arc Wave Frame archetype, of course, um, and a couple other things. So. Hopefully it's been helpful. Do all the things and all the whatnot. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the feedback. Without that, it wouldn't be possible. All right, take care. I'll talk soon.